Pardon me! I didn't notice you were there! Fig Newtons aren't the only important type of Newton. Sir Isaac Newton was important too, and today we're going to learn about his laws of force by sledding! So, please join me for this next riveting edition of the Sherlock Holmes Physics Fancy Pants Theta. Woohoo! Woo! <sighs> this sled is motionless because of two opposite forces. One is the force of gravity pulling it down. The other is the force of the ground pushing it upwards. I cannot move forward unless an unequal horizontal force is applied. Right now, I am sandwiched between two equal horizontal forces, or bar wenches, as it would be. However, take one away, and I accelerate. Force causes acceleration. This is scary, you don't know what it's like! Ah. Now, when I was on a horizontal plane, I needed a bar with, excuse me, an unequal horizontal force to push me forward. However, now that we're on an incline, gravity does the work for me. That was quite a ride. I haven't been that titillated since Woodstock. Now, we mustn't forget about friction, a force caused by the regularities in the surface we're traveling on, snow, which slows you down. Now, if I were to transit from this snow to this dirt, it'd slow me down even more because it causes more friction. In addition, I'd probably look like I've shot my britches, which we don't want on public television. So, just remember, without friction, we would continue sliding on eternally. So, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Fancy Pants Theta. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna go catch those ragamuffins that's been stealing my sugar plums. Come back here, you ragamuffins! Now, if I were to slather my naked body with butter, it would be much slicker than without, and there would be less friction. <laughs>